you, Kelly. Hey, we don't miss an opportunity to talk about food on this show. And the Vegas Food Expo introduces you to some of the most popular new food trends for the year. And it sounds like 2018 is going to be a very delicious year. Oh, it'll be great. <laughs> Judging by what you guys are going to be bringing into town and breaking it all down for us this morning is Vegas Food Expo's Brett Ottenlange. So thank you for being with us, Brett. Thank you so much for having well, me. Well, you have a nice little display of a lot of stuff here. So where are we going to start? Let's just jump into it. Sure. So this is our second year. As you can see, we have food producers coming from all over the country yeah. and even internationally. Oh, wow. And we try to find small uh, emerging brands that have something really unique to offer. Offer. Okay. So there's a little bit of everything you'll find. Alcohol, you've got snacks and cheese, chocolate, oh, wow. produce, Let's seafood, start over here. Everything. Why not? Let's start over here. So what are we, are these, oh, these are a well, specific type of chips? Yeah, these are truffled potato chips if you Truffle feel like potato. having a bite. Uh, oh, can I have one? We open those, yeah. Oh, Give them well, a try. Listen, you don't have to tell me twice. I don't mind getting in on this at all. So these are truffle chips. So what makes these different with the truffle, I guess? Well, give them a try. They're nice and thin but also mm. they've got that hint of white truffle. That's yummy. It's a totally different flavor. I've never tried that before. It's really, really good. So mm. our show, we're, we're really primarily good. open for uh, food and beverage professionals. Okay. A lot of chefs and people That's working good. for grocery uh, chains. Uh, this will be our second year. We're on Sunday and Monday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mm. And in addition to all, seeing 150 different food producers like these, right. we also have some great presentations going on. We're going to be breaking down a whole pig and making charcuterie. Oh uh, my gosh, so it's a little bit of everything. It's a, really a sight to see, huh? Th there's a cook-off. We've got mm -hmm. uh, the Google Trends team talking about what they can learn from search data about future food trends. Oh, interesting. So you can Google it food trends, right, and find out what's going on. And we're kind of going along the table here. So let's, um, the old, little caviar here, yeah. Right here, caviar, oh, tuna from Spain. Interesting, we, oh, we, this is tuna. oh, this is tuna. Yes. Oh my goodness, this is huge. <laughs> from Spain, very interesting. Oh, they're zooming in on the caviar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gotta have a little bit of that good stuff. Okay, and as we continue to kind of scan the table, so let's see, we are going, oh, they're you going the, wide a little bit. Okay, All right. so it looks like I we're going over here. I saw pork clouds here. These are like chicharron, but oh. uh, reimagine. They're light and fluffy. Interesting, and kind I was, like a popcorny type You want to try them? Yeah, oh, listen, it's, you so, don't have to tell me twice to try food. I always like to tell people there's, Seven times more, oh. seven times more protein in this than a potato chip, with mm. ten percent fewer calories. Because these can be really like have a lot of calories in them, but this tastes really, really good, and it's flavorful too. Mind you, it's like a pork skin, but it still has a lot of flavor to it. You can even use it in cooking; it's great as a mm. topping. Now what? Now what, what are we going? What is oh, this? Oh, some excellent pasta. This one's mm. being imported from Italy. And, oh wow! Um, we've got here from the United States. This is a cool trend that could be starting. Oh, they're ketchups, right but they're they're made with fruit instead of tomato. Really? So bring back an old tradition where ketchup, before the introduction of the tomato, was actually made with fruits, and it was. Was uh, it really? Fascinating. Yeah. Oh, now that's interesting because actually. Sometimes tomato can give people, you know, kind of a reaction, a little acid reflux, but this is really interesting that it's made by fruit. Okay, so you gotta check out the Vegas Food Expo at the Westgate. That's Monday and Tuesday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Brett, it sounds like a lot of fun, and I've had a lot of fun taste testing too, by the way. I'll come back and do a Great. little more. Great, hope you can make it. <laughs> All right, stay with us, we'll be right back.